Welcome back to Just Academy Mathematics YouTube channel where we make you a mathematics genius. Now, if you look at the question we have today, it's from NECO 2013, NECO number 2A. We are asked to use the completing the square method to solve the equation. Uh, now, this question has been specified. Specified. So, we are not to use any other method. We can use formula method and we can use graph method and we can use factorization method. We just have to use completing the square method. It's a very interesting method. So watch even as we adventure into it. So first we start by writing out the equation again, which is what? 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now this is the equation. Now, completing the square method has a couple of steps, and I want to show you. I'm not going to write them out. You can make a note out of it, out of this, and then follow them uh, as you go. Now, the first step is to move the constant. The constant here is there, the one that a variable is not attached to. We call it the constant. Uh, there is no variable attached to this, so it's not a coefficient. This is a constant. We move this constant to the other side of the equals to that is if it's not here yet. We move this one to this side. That is the first step. Let's do that. So I have 2x squared minus 5x is equal to minus 3. At least it's simple enough. Huh? Now, having done that, the next step is to divide through. Divide through. Not divide both sides. Divide through with the coefficient of x squared. What is the coefficient of x squared here? 2. So we divide this by 2, we divide this by 2, and we divide this by 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So 2x squared over 2 minus 5x over 2 is equal to minus 3 all over 2. So let's just say to say to this that 2 divided by 2 will give us 1. So here is remaining x squared minus 5 over 2x is equals to minus 3 all over 2. So in the next step, which is the third step now in the process, is to add half of coefficient of s at this stage, the square of the coefficient of s to both sides. Eh? We add half of the square of coefficient of s to both sides. Remember, the coefficient of s here is what? minus 5. The coefficient of s here is what? Uh, 5 minus 5 over what? 2. So what is half of minus 5 over 2? Half of minus 5 over 2 is simply minus 5 over 4. Uh, just times the denominator with 2. If it is 3 over 6, that is 3 over 12. If it is 4 over 3, that is 4 over 6. Uh, 6. So half of 5 over 2 is 5 over what? 4. So we add uh, minus 5 over 4, the square of uh, minus 5 over 4 to both sides. Look at what I mean. Let me show you. So we have x squared minus 5 over 2x. Half of this now means plus minus 5 over 4 square. 5 over 4 is half of this. The square of it, you add it to this side. You do the same thing here. Minus 3 over 2 plus minus 5 over 4 square. Interesting. Now, this is the stage where students get confused. This is the stage where students miss it. But I want to explain it to you. It's very simple. Now, we can solve this part down. It will take a couple of steps. But there is a shortcut we can use to get the same thing instead of solving this down. Because we can solve this down and factorize this. We can factorize this. Uh, the step, the, at the end of the day, where we arrive is what I want to show you. There is a shortcut. And what is the shortcut? The shortcut is that we pick this with square and pick this with square and square it and leave this behind. It will work for any equation. Just pick this one, pick this one, leave this behind. Uh, leave it behind. Probably I will show you because of... Um, I will show you, but let me do it first and I will show you in another place sheet. Now, 
Look at this. This is what I mean. I'll pick this x, then I'll pick this one minus. I'm picking minus because here is minus. Because this one now can be plus. It's actually plus like this. 5 over 4 square. The reason is because minus 5 square is the same thing as plus 5 square. Minus 4 square is the same thing as plus 4 square. So here will only be minus when here is minus. And if here is plus, here will also be plus. If here is minus, here will be minus. So you pick this and this square equals to minus 3 over 2 plus minus 5 square is 25 and 4 square is what 16. Uh, follow me. I'm going to come back and show you from here later. But let me finish up. Now, um, let's proceed. We have x minus 5 over 4 square is equals to what's the LCM here? 16. So the LCM here is what? 16. 2 going to 16 is what? 8. 8 times minus 3 is minus 2 and 4. That is 24. Plus 16 into 16 is 1. 1 times 25 is 25. So we have that x minus 5 over 4 all square is equals to minus 25 minus 24 plus 25 is what? 1 over what? 16. So what do we do? We do away with this square uh, so that we can find x. To do away with this square, the only thing that can do away with this is square root. We find the square root of both sides. When you find the square root of both sides like this, this is what I mean. Minus 5 over 4 square the square root is equals to plus minus square root of 1 over 16. Now, I'm introducing plus or minus here because we're expecting to get two answers. So the moment you are putting this radical sign, you put plus or minus here. Now, this square root sign, this radical sign will cancel this. So we are now left with what? We are now left with s minus 5 over 4 equals to square root of 1 over 16. So let's take it up. Eh? So we have x minus 5 over 4 is equals to plus or minus square root of square root of 1 is 1 square root of 16 is 4 so here means 1 over what 4 so we we'll collect like terms we have the word s is equals to minus 5 over 4 coming here will give us what 5 over 4 plus minus 1 over 4 so we separate them we have that s is equals to 5 over 4 we we'll take only the plus plus 1 over 4 or 5 over 4 minus 1 over 4. So therefore, whether s is equal to, of course, if you find the LCM of 4 over 4, you have 4. Uh, 1 going to 4. 4 going to 4, 1 times 5. 5 plus 1. Or LCM here is also 4. 1, 5 minus 1. So while that s is equal to 5 plus 1 is what? 6 over 4 or 5 minus 1, 4 over what? 4. So what do we have? 2 going to 6 is 3. 2 going to 4 is 2. Or 4 divided by 4 is 1. And therefore, finally, S is equal to 2 going to 3. One whole number, 1 over 2 or 1. This is the two answer to this equation. This is the answer to this equation. So that is for this. But for clarity, because mathematics is not magic. Uh -huh. I'm coming back to this point. You know, here, this is where students get confused. I say, at this stage, pick this with square, pick this with square, leave this behind. That is not a, enough uh, explanation for some people to understand. So let me show you what actually transpired there. How we, why we have to pick only these two and leave this behind. Let me show you in another sheet. So, Watch this now. So we have x squared minus 5 over 2x plus minus 5 over 4 squared. <clears throat> Let's solve this down. So we have x squared minus 5x over 2 plus 25 over what? 16. Now, what this means is that we can find the LCM anyway. Eh? If you find the LCM, we are going to have over 1 here. So we'll have that 16. This go here will give me what? 16. 
16 s square minus this go here will give me what 8 8 times 5 40 x plus 25 ah uh, so what this means is that we can factorize this yeah uh, we can factorize this this 16 times 5 will give us what times 25 let's factorize that yeah uh, 16 times 25 this time this is 30 raise 0 carry 3 12 plus 3 15 5 and what 2 that is 0 10 0 3 400 good so since it's 400 that is minus 20 minus 20 so this is 16 s square minus 20 x minus 20 s plus 25 this factorization now i'm doing that is why i decided to avoid the process now follow me over 16 so this is what is common in this first pair 4x 4x is outside what will remain here 4x minus 5 what is common in this last pair minus 5 what will remain here 4s minus 5 minus times minus 4 minus 5 is correct 5 minus 5 times minus 5 is plus 25 uh, if you open the bracket get back to this over 16 watch this now so we'll pick this and this outside 4x minus 5 we we'll pick one of the say identical bracket 4s minus 5 over what 16 so what this means is actually this 4s minus 5 square over what 16 and you can write 16 as 4s minus 5 square over 4 what square so you can write only this one as 4s minus 5 over 4 all square now when you separate them you notice that 4 will cancel 4 you have s minus 5 over 4 all square which will give us this look at it can you see it now from here i got here but imagine if you want to solve the whole of this in order to arrive at this place look at it look at the original equation this is where i started from so i have to solve all this i have to solve all this in order to arrive here but i am not telling you that there is a shortcut look at what well it's the same thing here now can you see that the shortcut is that whenever you get to this stage pick this one pick this one and put square outside if here is minus put minus here if here is plus put plus here you don't need to go and start passing through the headache of solving factorizing in order to arrive at this stage does that make sense i believe so so that is it for today's video. I believe you have enjoyed this class. Watch it over and over and again. Make your own notes. Understand it. Make sure you share this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Invite others and see you in our next class.